It's not been a week since India has accused Pakistan of sending a pigeon to ruffle some feathers <laughs> and of course infiltrate the country's defenses. We will find you and then we will eat your face right off your head. It turns out that that pigeon was just a regular pigeon and not Wing Commander Kabutar Khan. What the flip are you looking at? I think this is some kind of mother flipping joke. However, according to Indian media, Pakistan has not ceased its exploits. And now it has recruited bugs as terrorists and sent over what can only be known as the Bug Brigade for a reconnaissance mission, quite possibly to recover Wing Commander Kabutar Khan. <laughs> Look at me, what do you see? Just a badass brother who made a mistake. So Pakistan of India ko aatanki bana tha. Bharat bhejra. Every year locusts infest Pakistan, Iran and India. But this year they've just been so many of them. So rather than looking at the science behind the issue, <laughs> who does that nowadays? Arnab Goswami and Republic TV who might I add is backed by Modi himself. Has claimed that this is some sort of Pakistani ploy. If this is a Pakistani ploy, then I would like you to consider the following. Reports suggest that this is the worst attack of locusts in 30 years. The locusts are more agile and faster than before and people are so frightened and scared they are likening this event to the doomsday. Now goodness me, Pakistan come across like some sort of criminal masterminds here. <laughs> and that's not even asking the main question of how on earth did you manage to radicalize these locusts in the first place? I ain't no snitch! And India on the other hand come across as incompetent fools. The issue really is Dr. Abhi. Uh, there are bad people. There are people. Earlier this week a monkey outsmarted a scientist and ran away with some Covid samples. Well, he was very persuasive, I think. Other parts of the Indian media have admitted to not only asking Pakistan for help but also copying their strategy and even though he was trying to be some sort of funny guy and recommending Pakistanis to have a locust biryani Are Pakistani, tum tindi ki biryani bana kar khao. But I mean in order to recommend something you have to have tried it yourself and not only does it sound like he's tried it but it sounds like he rather enjoyed it. Well apparently it does have a good source of protein. But I did want to end with this point. India has the second largest population of Muslims on the planet. Yeah, And since Modi came into power there have been open beatings of Muslims throughout the nation. Now some of you guys that are on Twitter or on Instagram you can literally see these clips being circulated of a Muslim man. Yeah, not just one Muslim man, loads and on a daily basis. Being surrounded by four to five Hindu nationalists that are literally swinging their bats and sticks, literally with full might, kicking him whilst the person lies motionless on the floor, you know, on their head, on their face. I, I just had to stop watching it. Yeah, the people are sending it to me and honestly the whole day would just go past and I'd just be in a daze. Yeah, and this is happening and these you know self-righteous countries that say yes we will invade this country because they are doing human rights abuses. I mean if that was really the case China would have been long invaded because of their treatment of the Uyghurs. India would have been long invaded of the treatment of Kashmiris and of their you know normal population and let's face it Israel would have been long invaded because of their treatment of Palestinians and the list of course goes on. So yeah although we can laugh at the stupidity of these people many many people in these countries have become engulfed by the media propaganda. So if I'm able to show you how stupid these people are my job is done.
All right, guys, let's leave it there until next time. What the flip are you?